Yo, 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 what's good? Mic check, mic check. Mic check. No sheets in the back. No sheets in the back. You know what I mean? We got to clean them sheets. Spring cleaning. Actually, that's something I do often is I clean my sheets. Something that you probably should do too. Wouldn't that make sense? Clean your rooms too. Some of y'all rooms are dirty. Clean out your closets. What are we here to talk about today? It's a lot going on in the universe today. A lot of exciting things. Very exciting. Of course, I don't talk about hip hop and, you know, gossip too much. Actually, not at all. It's just a podcast about what I'm thinking, and let's have a conversation about it. There's a lesson that I want you guys to take away from all this that I'm about to talk about. When you apply a lot of energy into whatever projects that you are partaking in that's taking a long time that you're putting a lot of energy in naming said projects naming said things that you want to do ventures projects businesses your own name you got to be mindful of what you name it because the universe something that I like to talk about all the time, of course. That shouldn't be much of a surprise to you if you've been here for a while. Whatever you name something will tend to happen throughout the course of time. Or at least it will show itself up. And you will have to change the meaning. You will have to change the perspective of whatever you've called it. So, out the gate, we're going to talk about the fall off. Now, when I say the fall off, you're probably thinking, oh, he's about to talk about J. Cole. He's about to talk about, you know, whatever's going on at every other podcast has been talking about drake versus j cole drake versus well not drake versus j cole kendrick and drake they bought the beef j cole and drake they going against kendrick listen man i want to invite a whole nother perspective into this thing j cole's album is called the fall off right your album is called the fall off before he did what he did a couple days ago and apologized to kendrick for what he's done your album being called the fall off everybody's seen it as genius it's like He's about to give up. He's about, No, not give up. He's about to retire. He's done so much for the game. So many albums. So many appearances over the years. So much impact. Such an incredible story. An origin story to where he's at now. Certain things he says in songs about him being number one. The name of your album that you just dropped called my delete later everything is making sense with the storyline i don't know if you are just such so much of a genius that you purposefully did everything to coincide with the name of your final album the fall off but if this wasn't the case you gotta be careful of what you name your shit if this is not the outcome that you want to happen would you be falling off 
how do you want to fall off? Legacies have been tainted because of said apology. I think there's still ways to maneuver. I think there's still ways to change the perspective on how you have turned said album to fall off into something negative at this particular state today. Today is April 10th at the time of this recording. I don't know what's going to happen. As time goes, maybe they'll just forget about what you did. But that's something that I doubt. There are literally people out there. There are literally takes that are making a lot of sense saying that this is truly a fall off. Be careful what you say, man. Sometimes you got to listen to the people around you. Sometimes we got to refer back to the old games that we used to play like chess. Like, should I put this piece out there and risk the king being checked? No. I'm all for everything positive. But when you put, well, I'm all for everything, you know, being, yo, let's just do this to rap. Let's just, I, I didn't mean to do all that. But the perspective, everything out here is all about optics. The optics of it is just disgusting. Now, I listened to a couple podcasts and they said, yo, maybe J. Cole heard something. And it was like. The way how messy this battle's gonna get, you don't need you don't need to be a part of this. That's a good way to bow out. We don't know. I don't know. But apparent it's apparent that your album is called the fall off. People are literally deleting their albums that they have purchased from you. Off their phones, off their iPhones, off of everything. Because you simply duped them. You duped them into them thinking that you're a competitor in the sport when you're not a competitor in the sport. Your last five years of rapping, which is your best look, your best showing of rap is a lot about you talking about being the best nobody better not see me nothing be careful of what you name your projects that you put so much energy in the universe will tend to write the rest of the story for you hopefully this fall off isn't a major fall off but right now we don't know how this story is about to look it's looking like a real fall off j cole will always be one of the greatest rappers but the perspective on you has changed what are we gonna do when you drop your album and it might not sell as much as you usually sell. What's going to happen then? What's going to happen then? Now, I don't really think that's going to happen. But the door is opened for that to happen now. The door is open for, oh, he dropped something? I don't really want to hear it. A lot of your toughest, strongest fans were the ones that was like, yo, man, the way he's rapping right now, I don't think anybody could touch him. I don't think nobody could touch him at all. I don't even think Drake could touch him. When he's on his, when he's on his shit, 
he's at the top of the line. He's the top lyricist of the big three. Now, nobody's saying there's a big three no more. You just remove yourself out of it. I hope you are playing long-term chess and you're just doing something that right now, look, listen, this is not really my beef. I'm going to let you handle it. And I see that perspective, me, personally. I see that perspective. I see that long game that you're doing. Not everybody has the foresight that I have. Everybody's looking at it right now. A lot more people are emotional, way more emotional than I am. Everybody worships these rappers. Most people worship these rappers. It's like, oh my God, they're God. Not everybody's as objective as me, dog. But I see both sides. Be careful what you name your projects. Be careful what you name your journeys. Be careful what you name things that you put in a lot of energy into. Because the universe will tend to write the rest of the story to fit that narrative. That's the lesson that I want to teach here. Is it really a fall off? If you want to stay on. You don't name your project or your venture. My way out. <clears throat> you don't want to name your project life after death when you're clearly still alive. Shout out to Biggie, man. Big shout out to Biggie. Big shout out to Biggie, man. You don't want to name your project that if you want to be alive. Look what happened. Music is powerful, man. You're literally speaking things into existence. And then when your voice is being played on radio, when your voice is being played outside somebody's car, when your voice is being amplified again and again, that same voice that you put on the mic is being sent through the universe time and time again. 100 streams, 1,000 streams, 10,000 streams, 100,000 streams, a billion streams. The universe has heard your voice say something a billion times. So you don't think that's going to happen to you? When your voice has been said, recorded a thousand times and keeps being said in the universe. And at the same time, you have that same thought process as you're going through life. You don't think the universe is going to make that control? Absolutely it will. That's why music is so powerful. That's why voices are so powerful. You got to be careful of what you name things that you put a lot of energy to. You got to be careful of what you name things. Everything that had a big impact, they be, they was careful. They named things, things that they wanted to name because they wanted a certain outcome. Nothing was the same. When nothing was the same came out, guess what? <laughs> Maybe in Drake's life, nothing was the same. The rap game, nothing was the same. His deals that he got after that, nothing was the same. Nothing was the same. The blueprint, the blueprint to the blueprint, they was the actual blueprint to how Jay-Z got to where he's at now. The, it's called the blueprint. Be careful of what you name things that you put a lot of energy to that you put out into the world. Be careful because the universe will tend to write the story to fit the narrative. Be careful. And there's so many there's so many examples of this. If you're a music fan, if you are a fan of reading books, if you're a fan of autobiographies, if you're a fan of everything, whatever is named after a book that they put so much time and energy to, I want you to watch and be very observant of what happens after a book comes out. Whatever the title is, 
and what happens after to fit the narrative of that that has been nurtured into existence is art. This is another episode of Think Pieces and Conversations. Subscribe to everything that I'm on. Twitter, 8 Left Earth. Instagram, 8 Left Earth. TikTok, 8 Left Earth. YouTube, 8 Left Earth. Twitch, 8 Left Earth. I'm going to Texas Showdown for a video game tournament. I am a gamer. There will be more Think Pieces and Conversations later. As I sign off, do not forget, I'm a, I said this seven times, do not, you, you have to be very careful of what you name things that you put a lot of energy to and putting out there into the universe. I'm out of here.